afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, on behalf of my university, the University of Sao Paulo, and the Department of Product Engineering of the Engineering School of this university, I'd like to thank the Indian coordination for this special opportunity to participate in this so interesting and unique experience for being in contact with students from such different countries, cultures, and backgrounds. In fact, I think uh, this is one of the most evident manifestations of what all of us call globalization process. In my opinion, uh, I think that the success of this kind of course design is due to this plurality and diversity of experience and definitely contributes to the consolidation of the Erasmus Mundus joint programs in Europe. Uh, today, I am the representative of the only Latin American university and the most recent partner, the University of Sao Paulo, as Professor Luis Felipe has already mentioned. Uh, and this, in fact, of course, is a matter of uh, great pride of our institution and to me, in special particular. In fact, we have already been developing other kinds of uh, academic relationship with Polytech in the Milan in terms of graduate programs, uh, visiting researches, and mainly with the double degree program uh, for undergraduate students for many years. Uh, briefing about my university, the University of Sao Paulo, is the largest institution dedicated to higher education and research in Brazil with 40 teaching and research units, four hospital and health care, four museums involving more than 86,000 students, including undergraduate, graduate, and special enrollment, and all of this distributing 10 different campus around Sao Paulo State. Sao Paulo State is the most industrialized state of Brazil. Uh, engineering, the engineering school was founded in 1993, more than 10, 100 years, and has incorporated to the University of Sao Paulo in 1934. Counts on 15 teaching and research departments. In terms of human research, it has 500 faculty members and five non-teaching staff to work in cooperation. Uh, in terms of undergraduate courses, we have 12 semestral courses and two cooperative courses with approximately 4,500 students. In terms of graduate, the, the courses will have 20 master with about 1,200 students, uh, 18 doctorate courses with about 860 students, uh, approximately 1,300 special students in continuing education. Uh, back to the IME program, uh, the IME program has a lot of similarities, in my opinion, with the uh, industrial management engineering program. Or Engineeria Gestionale, as you say here in Polytech in Milan, and also with Production Engineering in Brazil. Historically, the Production Engineering Department of our University, University of Sao Paulo, was based on economic production management teams. However, over time, it developed for the other teams, where did, such as logistics, operations management, project and organizational analysis, technological management, planning, information systems project, and quality and product engineering, adding to the sophistication of the regional area, production economics. It's important to highlight that our department pioneered many of these things in Brazil. In my point of view, I think that this, this is one of the most complete courses aiming to provide a broader view in terms of industrial management requirements. Because besides the technical aspects concerning the manufacturing process or services process, the students can be in contact with other important knowledge areas from different social and behavioral sciences. Just as a curiosity, I would like to mention that 30 years ago, there were only three undergraduate courses and just two master and PhD programs in production engineering in Brazil. Today, there are more than 350 undergraduate courses and more than uh, 20, uh, 50 master and PhD programs in this area. I have been working in the department since 1988, both in teaching and researching activities, 
I advise a graduate and graduate students, master and PhD programs. I coordinate also a research group on cooperation networks and knowledge management. And on the other hand, I think that the EMI program also decisively contributes to the dissemination of the most up-to-date knowledge and information in industrial management. But it can be also understood an instrument to promote social and cultural coexistence, and this, uh, in this sense, it could be considered an instrument to promote the most important human values among students. Uh, this morning, for example, I have another special experience participating as a referee of some concluded thesis of the main program in this fifth edition. For me, it was a real pleasure, a great pleasure to be in contact with some very interesting research works referring to some current topics of great relevance to the corporate world, such as analysis of standardization of the European rail traffic management system, sustainable complexity reduction in the manufacturing industry, service offshoring in Thailand, corporate social res uh, responsibility in developing countries, deregulation switch in pharmacies, and, and a lot of uh, other many interesting works that I didn't have the possibility uh, to know. But the most important of this, uh, based on this single sample of works, is to highlight the great diversity and wealth of themes and issues developed by uh, students during the EB program, EB program. Finally, I would like uh, to greatly thank Professor Felipe Ruiz, the director of the EB program, Professor Alberto Portioli, the coordinator of the EB program at the Polytechnic de Milano, Professor Alessandro Brun, and Professor Donatella Corti for dedicating your time to our discussion and research meetings, and Clara Cielo for all the help provided in terms of accommodation, the logistics aspects for my travel. And I am also grateful to you uh, for having invited me to participate in such an amazing, amazing social meeting with students. I have to thank all in the Institute also. Thank you so much, all of you, and I wish you all lucky success and brightness in your career in new challenges. Thank you very much. Now I invite the representatives of the other men.